Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we're going to talk about Hike Vision AccuSense DVRs. Uh, we've got one out here for you to have a look at. Um, if you've seen our previous videos, we've done the um, videos on the first and second generation of AccuSense DVR. And it's pretty clear that these are the third generation this has one big fundamental difference to the previous model and that is that the human and vehicle recognition can now also be used on motion detection mode which is a massive leap forward i'm quite impressed so if you want to go back and have a look at the video for the second generation accusense dvr please do and it might also be handy to go back and have a look at the motion detection setup on DVRs as well, high vision DVRs in general, we've done videos on that too. Come back and then have a look at this, and it will make a little bit more sense. So, assuming you've uh, been good and gone back and had a quick look, here we are new third generation machine, and there's my garden. Solid Garden's in a bit of a state at the moment, it's actually the first of, a, first of October, so it's Halloween. And we've had 40 and 50 mile an hour winds uh, this morning and it's absolutely ravaged my garden. But this will do for this particular video. What you're looking at here is a high vision 2.8 millimeter HD TVI camera with the built-in microphone. Probably their uh, biggest selling camera now, I would imagine. Uh, so, human and vehicle detection. All right, we're in a garden here, but this could be a street view. So let's say it's on the front of a house and you've got uh, a driveway and you've got your pathway down to your house. You could obviously have this activated in that area. For us, of course, we don't have that one in the back, but I'll show you how it works. The principle is very, very simple and we'll walk through this together. We'll do it bit by bit and I'll show you the differences from the old DVRs to this one, so you know exactly what to look out for. So here we go. First things first, we right click for the menu. Up to the top, left click on system, and over to the left hand menu, event. And the first thing in the event is motion detection, which you can see there, and of course A1, which is camera one. Now, we're in normal event, but if you was to go down here to Smart Event, which I'll do now for you, you can see face detection, and you can also see line crossing and intrusion detection. Now, they are the modes that used to have human and vehicle recognition. This model still does, but it also has it on motion detection mode. So we'll keep away from this. We've done a video on this on the second generation. So back up to normal. We're back into the motion detection menu. First things first, apply, enable should I say, and apply. So if your DVR was in motion detection recording mode, it would now record if I walked out there. So you're not going to miss anything with the human and vehicle recognition. Don't worry about that. It will still record if a cat or a dog walks through or something like that. If someone gets on the hands and knees, it will still record, do not worry. It's enabled and it's applied. So schedule, as always, blue is continuous. And as you know, you can click the non button and you can scribble some of these out. Monday to Sunday, midnight to midnight. If you're one of those people who goes to work between six and seven, you could take this section out there. In fact, I'll do it for you. Click, drag that down and press apply. And in that section there, when you went to work, it wouldn't send you a notification if it saw somebody on the driveway. So you don't get false alarms. But for this, I click continuous and apply it again. So there you go, 24 hours a day, but feel free to take out any sections that you don't want. Linkage. For this particular video, clearly it says A1, which is channel one. And we have our full screen monitoring Audible warning, which is the bleep from the DVR, notify surveillance centre, send email and capture uploaded image. That's if you've got some um, uh, space online in the cloud, it will send the images up there for you. 
But for this video today, we'll click audible warning, notify surveillance centre and press apply. My mobile phone is here on the left hand side. It might be a little bit slow getting the notifications. Like I said, the weather's been atrocious this morning. The cloud cover is over and I've got a lot of steel in the roof of this uh, building. So the uh, network isn't too good. So that's set. Audible warning, notify surveillance centre, 24 hours a day and it's enabled. What do we do next? Well, we need to draw an area. And this is one of the... Uh, things that differ from the older DVRs. If you went back and had a look at how to set up motion detection on height vision DVRs, you would be used to seeing squares across here. Because you'd have lines vertically and horizontally. And let's just say we wanted the motion to disappear here, where all the bushes are moving on my uh, border. You'd be able to scrub those red squares out and press apply. They're gone now. Because of human and vehicle detection. It might be a little bit more difficult to set up, but one, once it's done, the result is far superior. So it's, you know, bear with us, it is worth doing. So what we're gonna do today is this. We've got it set up for 24 hours. We know it's gonna bleep on the DVR and we need to draw an area. So here we go. Click draw area. And very much like the intrusion detection, go up here and let's do some dots. I'll do one uh, there. And the line will drag behind it. It's like dot the dot. There. 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 Up to my shed. Down again so it gets to the doorway. And I'll roughly follow the grass. I'm not going right up to the edges. I'll go up to there. Voila. And it's made... Hashtag one hashtag. So I'll press apply. I don't know if you noticed, it did that last little line there, that last little joint, because you are allowed 10 lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was the ninth, and it automatically did the tenth one for us. And I know it's hard to see on YouTube videos, but I've kept quite a long distance. I followed it roughly my garden, um, certainly around here where my hot tub is, but the reason why we've done that is because we've realised that they are very, very sensitive when pushed right up towards bushes and trees. Um, I have this set on sensitivity 40, which is the second, and obviously the 60, 80 and 100, and these DVRs are set at 80 when they come from the factory. So I've turned mine down and still found it a little bit sensitive near the edges. So give them a wide berth, it's a top tip. Now all I'm gonna do is click human and apply. There you go, it's as easy as that. We've got our area here. This would normally have been red squares if you remember on the older DVRs. We've got 24 hour linkage, Audible warning and notify surveillance centre. That's it. We've clicked human. There is a false alarm filter above there. It's not highlighted that square because, as I said, the camera that we've got in the garden is a HD TVI with the microphone in and it doesn't have the PIR sensor on. Only if the camera has a PIR sensor. So your warning cameras, again, look at our videos, we've done those, that would be ready to be clicked. Okay, so it make it even more accurate. So we're done. All we have to do now is click live view and right click on this border. It's ready. It's going to send us a notification when it sees a human walk into the garden. And who's that human going to be today? Well, it's going to be me. Here we go. You should hear a bleep off the DVR and maybe one off my mobile phone, depending on how good the reception is. Here we go. And there we have it. That was a bleep on the DVR. I'll just have a look on my mobile phone. Yes, I have a notification on my mobile phone as well. And I'll just go into the notification so you can see it. At the top it says motion detection alarm and there is a picture of a man who appears to be walking or running. 
And if you click on it, I'll tell you what, I'll press play back, shall I? I know this might be difficult for you to see. It's only my uh, cell uh, service is rubbish in this garage. And as you can see, that's me. So there you go, it worked. And that was on human detection. So, as always on CCTV Systems UK videos, let's see how smart this machine actually is and let's see if we can trick it. So, the only alterations I'm gonna make are these. By right clicking, system and event. I'll just click into the linkage settings and unclick the notification and apply. You've seen it come through to the mobile phone, we know it works. I'll just go back to the area. Now then, what can we do to trick this DVR? Well, let's unclick human, and now let's click vehicle, and apply. Now, the DVR bleeper is still on. All I've done is turn the notification off on the phone. So if I walk out there now, I know I've put some weight on in the lockdown, but I'm certainly not as big as a vehicle, and I don't think I look like one either. Don't comment. So if I go out there, we shouldn't get a bleep from the DVR, okay? Let's give that a go. I'll left click on live view and right click on the border. Here we go. This should be silence. Yes, it appears to be quiet. It's obviously realized that I'm a human and not a vehicle and the alarm hasn't gone off, so that's good. Now then, we can be a little bit more crafty with this. <clears throat> so let's right click again, left click on system, and left click on event, because we don't just have to have one or the other ticks. You don't have to have human or vehicle, you can have both, which is brilliant. Remember what I said about uh, having this on the front of your, your house, looking onto your driveway, and uh, on your garden path. You can have both. So if you press human as well and apply, <clears throat> we've got both. So now, of course, when I walk outside, it should also send, an, well, not a notification because I've turned that off, but the DVR should bleep so that you can hear it and you know it's actually working. Here we go. And there you have it. That's working the way that it should do. Clearly it didn't pick me up when it was vehicle only, but now it's set on vehicle and human again. It knows that there is somebody in the garden, which is brilliant. Like I say, it's hard to argue against this type of technology. It's a massive leap forward from the previous DVR, which was the AccuSense uh, second generation. This is superior, I think you will all agree. Now, again, we like it to be a fair test. We've tried to trick the DVR, clearly it hasn't worked, but there are a couple of things that we've realized while we've been installing these, because they've not been on the market particularly long. Now, if you've been back and looked at the uh, video on the second generation AccuSense DVR, you will know, like this one does, if you right click, go into system and event and then drop down to the smart event here you also have face detection now AccuSense um, analog DVRs like these will allow you to have one face detection um, camera on your system doesn't matter whether it's a 4 8 16 or 32 way DVR in fact I don't think they've done the 32 way AccuSense DVR as yet but you cannot have face detection on the same camera as you have the human or vehicle detection on in motion mode. It will not let you do it, and I'll show you. So there it is, camera one, face detection. I click the enable button, enable face detection. It's on the same camera that I've just been using, and if I press apply, up comes on the screen. Please uncheck human slash vehicle of motion detection under A1. A1 is camera one that we've been using, and try again. So there you go. You can't have them on at the same time. 
But in all honesty, did anybody expect him to be able to do that? I certainly didn't. This is a big step forward. I just don't see that happening anytime soon. Unless, of course, chips get very, very big inside the DVRs. But, of course, that would mean um, a price increase, even if only a small one. But it's worth mentioning so you know that that won't work. And, of course, you can't use the line crossing detection or the intrusion detection as well on camera one. Why? Because we're using it in motion detection mode. So there you go. Pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, again, a big step forward um, having one of these on the front of the house if you have people walking in or you share the driveway or you want to know about vehicles coming in and out of your yard um, at business premises this is ideal you know because if it can tell the difference between humans and vehicles you know what more do you want now I can speak um, some length about this I've just put uh, an eight-way model of this in for one of our customers and he has a gateway and you've got left to right movement and for the first half of the day um, I went in to test this technology and had it set on human and while it was on human it picked up every single human but it didn't pick up any vehicles and then for the second half of the day I switched it into vehicle and it picked up the cars, the trucks, and it even picked up his forklift truck. So that shows that these do the job that they are designed to do. It's hard to argue with that, isn't it? So, sorry this has been such a long video, but I hope it's been informative to you, and we've walked through it slowly and showed you the difference between this machine and the previous ones. Again, we're always here to help, so if you need any more information on this DVR, please send us a message um, or comment. If you're commenting on YouTube, just bear in mind, sometimes YouTube's very poor with notifications coming through and it can take a long time for us to get them. If you go onto our Facebook page, of course, you will always get an answer pretty quickly. So if you need any more help with this or you want it explained in any other way, um, we'll certainly do another face detection video on this. I'll try and do one before the light goes today for you. Other than that, like I said, it is Halloween. All of you stay safe out there. If you're not in Tier 2 or Tier 3, you'll probably be taking the kids out to do a bit of trick-or-treating. Tell the kids to get some sweets for me as well, please, because I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. You all have a cracking evening, and I will see you again soon with another video. This is Paul Logging off at CCTV Systems UK. Bye-bye now.